leader in MMA. Experience it on Fox Sports 2. Hello, Belo Horizonte. The Brazilian city is the latest stop for the Octagon as UFC Fight Night to Shara versus Bader goes down tomorrow on Fox Sports 1. There's the number two ranked light heavyweight in the world and native Brazilian Glover Teixeira. He comes to the Minarinho Arena riding an amazing 19 fight win streak and looks to improve to 5-0 and inside the octagon when he headlines tomorrow's UFC fight night against that man, Ryan Bader. A two-time Division I All-American wrestler and Ultimate Fighter Season 8 winner, Bader can catapult himself back into the title mix by capitalizing on the main event opportunity tomorrow. But today, he and Teixeira hit the scale. It's the UFC weigh-in, and it starts right now on Fox Sports 2. Welcome inside our Fox Sports studio in Los Angeles, California. I'm Karen Bryan alongside UFC stars Chael Sonnen and Daniel Cormier. And before we begin, we're going to take a look at tomorrow's fight day schedule. There is one bout set for the early prelims on Facebook and YouTube beginning at 3.30 p.m. Eastern. Then the exclusive Fox Sports 1 coverage gets underway at 4 p.m. Eastern with the UFC Fight Night pre-fight followed by the Fight Night prelims also on Fox Sports 1 at 5 p.m. And finally, the UFC Fight Night Teixeira versus Bader main card starts at 7 p.m. Eastern only on Fox Sports 1. Well, besides the intriguing uh, main event, guys, we've got a lot more action. Tomorrow, we're featuring a pair of key matchups, including a top five, <laughs> look at you, middleweight bout between Yushin Okamri and Jacare Souza, as well as two top five flyweight contenders in Joseph Benavides and Juicier Formiga and Chael. Which one of these other fights do you have your eye on? Well, you know, for me, it's the middleweights. And listen, Karen, I'm more excited than a Ferrari dealer when Dana White walks through the door for this fight. You've got the top ranked Yushin Okamri, been at the top of this division for years. He's coming off a huge win over Hector Lombard. He's taken on Jacques Array, who's coming in over with a huge win over the underrated Chris Camozzi. Both of these guys believe in themselves. Let's find out who's better. I'm excited to see Joseph Benavidez versus Juicy Formiga. Joseph Benavidez has changed, man. He's knocking people out. He's a very exciting fighter in that division. And Juicy Formiga had a great performance against Chris Carriasso last time. It's another big fight. I can't wait. It's going to be exciting. Well, and people who don't think that the lighter weights can have knockout power, just watch Joseph Benavidez. Yeah. See him go to work. Well, we are right now going to talk about the main event. Five rounds at 205 pounds between Glover Teixeira and Ryan Bader. Now, he is the winner of 19 straight. He is Chuck Liddell's protege, and his name is Glover Teixeira. And I think, Chael, that's so so far, he is living up to the hype. How do you feel about it? Yeah, he certainly is. And what's so fun about being a Glover fan is the only guy that isn't tooting Glover's horn is Glover. He has remained uh, very humble. He still works very hard. He's reading these things and hearing these things everybody's saying about him, but he's not believing them. He's going in there and he's fighting every fight with, with a real urgency in, the, in a must-win situation. Now, when you talk about must-wins, that's where his opponent is tomorrow night. Well, and here's the thing, Daniel. Not a lot of people are lining up to fight Glover to share a especially in his native Brazil. But the former wrestling stand-up from Arizona State, Ryan Bader, has stepped up to the challenge. Well, Ryan's fought everyone. You know, he's been in there with John Jones, Rampage Jackson, Tito Ortiz. He's Ooh. not afraid to fight anybody, you know. So he's going to go in there, use his wrestling to take the fight to Glover. Ryan Bader is a two-time All-American. He's had success in everything that he has done. He's going to look to finally get the big win that's eluded him so far in his UFC career. After winning the Ultimate Fighter, he has not been able to get that key win. This is his chance again tomorrow night. And if he he pulls it off in Brazil, it will be absolutely stunning. Well, while Teixeira has climbed his way into the light heavyweight title picture, Bader has a chance to get his name back in the mix. Both guys had to prepare for a five-round fight with this main event and adjusted their training for the extra 10 minutes. For more on that, we send it out to Belo Horizonte, Brazil, where Heidi Andral is on the scene. Heidi? Glover Teixeira admitted that he overtrained earlier this year for Rampage Jackson. And in that fight, he actually injured his leg prior to the fight because of that. He said in this one, he has learned to train the right way. I asked him exactly what that meant. Well, he said it means 
taking a couple of days off for rest, which he hates to do because he's so passionate about training. He said it also means sparring really hard for shorter periods of time and as well leaving the gym wanting to do just a little bit more. He said that he is excited about this fight. He is ready and feeling very good. The championship and the title motivates him, but before there can be any talk of the title, he has to get through opponent Ryan Bader. Now, Ryan Bader similarly told me that his training regimen has changed up for this one. He's been working with former UFC fighter Aaron Simpson. He's upped his cardio. He thinks he can go to the deep end. He is ready for this one. He's got cycling implemented into his regimen, which he said has become a passion of his and has helped with the endurance, which he thinks will make a difference. Ryan Bader said this is the best Ryan Bader that has entered the octagon. We'll see whose hard work will pay off here in Bella Horizonte. Guys, we'll send it back to you in the studio. All right, thank you very much, Heidi. Now let's check out today's Twitter poll question. If Glover Teixeira wins, should he get a title shot? Vote by tweeting the hashtag Glover title shot or hashtag Glover no shot. We will have the results later on in the show. When we come back, Glover Teixeira, Ryan Bader, Jacare Souza, Yushin Okami, and the rest of our UFC Fight Night competitors step up to the scale. John Anik is on the mic when the UFC weigh-in returns on Fox Sports 2. Dos meio pesados, Cooper Teixeira vem com tudo para garantir seu title shot ao enfrentar o wrestler norte-americano Ryan Bader. E também amanhã, o mestre em jiu-jitsu Ronaldo Jacaré busca sua segunda vitória no UFC contra o japonês Yoshin Okami. Desejamos boas vindas especiais aos fãs, membros do UFC Fight Club e um grande agradecimento aos Patrocinadores do UFC. Gilete, presto barba e desodorante. Integral Médica. Fone Açaí. TNT.
Jury fight on the undercard of one of my fights. He was involved in a wildly entertaining fight. He's a very tough, well-rounded fighter, and he's looking to showcase his skills as he chases his first win under the Zufa banner. 170. 170 for Yuri Justin, he said he remembers the traffic slowing down and even stopping sometimes to watch the show. His brother Justin in his corner for almost every fight and has been his sparring partner for 15 years. Debut. They're very proud.
Ortiz. at only 25 years old enters his 23rd professional fight looks to move to 3-0-1 in the UFC's octagon he has a black belt Muay Thai brown belt Brazilian Jiu Jitsu this guy's a finisher and will look to do that again tomorrow night coach both women and men trying to become the ultimate fighter. The new season premieres tomorrow at 10 p.m. Eastern, only on Fox Sports 1.
to the scale is Thor Throwing. Thor Throwing is a thinking man. He dates a psychologist and he himself has a degree in engineering. I had the pleasure of coaching this young man on season 17 of The Ultimate Fighter and I predict that tomorrow night it's going to be one more for the bad guys. One eighty five. One eighty five for Thor Throwing. And his opponent, Rafael Sapo. contender in the flyweight division is a bit of a game of musical chairs. For me, Juicy Formega was my pick. I thought that he should be going against Demetrius Johnson. He's one and one in the UFC, but a win over Joseph Benavides will solidify his spot at the top. One twenty 
86 for GCA for Amiga. And his opponent, Joseph Benavides. Joseph Benavides is not your typical flyweight. Well, at least as far as diet is concerned, he eats burgers, steaks, even ice cream during camp. He said the one thing he does have to cut out, cereal, cinnamon toast crunch, and captain crunch, because he doesn't know how to eat less than five bowls in one sitting. Ronaldo Souza, you know him as Jacare, which means alligator in Portuguese. Apparently, he got the name because that was the symbol of his team, ASLE, his jiu jitsu team, which he was a prolific competitor in. He said, well, it's the alligator grip, it stuck, and so the name stuck. One eighty six for Shakare. And his opponent, Yushin Okami. I've never been able to fill Yushin Okami up when it comes to food. So one time when we went out, he ordered from the waiter, and I had the waiter quadruple the order. He brought four full full meals. Yushin ate three of those meals, started on the fourth plate before he officially tapped out. For me, it's very important to finish a fight. I just want to be the baddest man on the planet. That's the motivation. That's why we're in a sport. I have a dream, and to get that title. I wanted to prove to myself and to the fans and to to UFC that I am ready, I'm ready for that title. I've fought the best guys in the world, and I have been for a long time. I'm more hungry now than I've ever been in my whole career. My ultimate goal is to get that belt. Jumping in that octagon, I'm looking across, and it's just another man across the octagon. I want to break his spirit, break his will, and eventually that's going to lead to me putting him away. Glover is a very aggressive, in-your-face type of striker. He utilizes a good takedown. He's Jiu-Jitsu is very good, but I have power in both my hands. And if I hit you right, you're going out. Oh! That is some serious power! I'm not intimidated by Ryan Bader at all. I have more skills standing up, more power to knock him out and put him away before the five rounds. I'm getting closer and closer to my dream, and he's in my way. I'm tired of hearing about Glover, saying he's the next big thing and, and the next guy to get the championship. He's got to fight me first, and he's not going to get past me. You're not here to joke around. We both want the title, and uh, I'm going to try to knock him out. i got to go out there and make a statement. Somebody's going to go down. It's going to be him. The scale, the Ultimate Fighter Season 8 winner, Ryan Dark Bader. Ryan Bader, the winner of Season 8 of The Ultimate Fighter, once again looks to make his way into the top of the light heavyweight division. Ryan is an all-American wrestler and will have to use his wrestling grind to take the fight to Glover. He has all the ability. He has to believe in himself if he is going to win this fight. 205 for Ryan Bader. And his opponent, Glover Teixeira. Glover 
Teixeira is fighting three hours from where he grew up. I asked him about the pressure of fighting here in Brazil. He said that doesn't bother him one bit. He is excited to show the fans what he can do here in Brazil. He said the one problem, all the tickets he has to buy. All of his family is coming, and that adds up.